What's up, Cal Gang? All right, we got this uh, fluid problem here. Uh, so it wants us to calculate the pressure of this block uh, in, in this uh, vat that's it's oil on the top, it's water on the bottom, and then it has these dimensions. Uh, okay, so part one is find the gauge pressure at the top of the block. Okay, so gauge pressure. So if you're trying to find the pressure of something in a, in a liquid, it's gonna be equal to the pressure like at the top, which is like the atmospheric pressure, but we're not gonna worry about that. Uh, plus the density of the liquid times the gravity times the height of the liquid above it. So because we're doing gauge pressure, we don't need to worry about this because that would be atmospheric pressure. And the type definition of gauge pressure is without atmospheric pressure. So then we're end up with this. So the pressure at the top is equal to the density of oil, which is given to us. So it's going to be 760 times gravity, 9.81 times the height, which um, it doesn't actually give you this number. Actually, does it give you this number? It does give you that number. Okay. So this is 1.6 centimeters, which is 0 0.016 meters. We have to use it in uh, the right units. So you plug all this into your calculator, you're going to get uh, 124 pascals. Right? Okay, so you have 124 pascals at the top. Okay, so for the bottom, uh, which is part B, once you define the pressure at the bottom, you're going to need to find the pressure of the oil plus the pressure of this gap here to find the pressure at the bottom. So let's do that. So pressure bottom. Um, I'm gonna make that better. Is equal to, okay, so we're gonna have P naught, which is gonna be the pressure at this point right here, you know, at where the, the intersection is, plus the density of water times the gravity times the height of the water. So we're gonna get, is equal to, so we know, um, the pressure at this point here is going to be equal to this pressure, but with the height is equal to one centimeter or ten centimeters. So this is going to be the density of oil times gravity times the height of the oil plus the density of water times the gravity times the height of the water at that point. So what this is going to end up giving us, uh, as you can put in this, so the density of oil seven sixty again times gravity nine point eight one times the height of it, which is 0 0.1 meter, plus density of water, which is 1,000. That's just something you should know, 9.81 times the height. Um, so you can have to do a little bit of mental math here to figure out that this height is going to be equal to this height too, 1.6 centimeters. So then 0 0.016 meters. Plug this into your calculator, and you get a number that looks like... Uh, 31 pascals. So there's more pressure at the bottom, right? Cool. Okay, we're gonna need these numbers for this part. Now it's just to find the mass of the block. Okay, so to do this, we're gonna need to uh, kind of pull out our forces, right? So we know that this uh, it's in equilibrium, which means it's not moving. And if it's not moving, that means that the forces are, I mean, if it's not accelerating, that means that the forces are equal. So sum of force y is equal to zero, right? So let's, let's make a mass body diagram and see what's going on with our block. Okay, so we have pressure at the top pushing it down, which is this number that we found here. Then we have the pressure at the bottom pushing it up. And we know that the pressure at the bottom is way bigger than the pressure at the top. So there's gotta be another force pushing down on it that's making it at equilibrium. And of course that is uh, the force of gravity. Okay, so now that we got these three forces figured out, what we need to do is plug it into this equation. Okay, so, uh, so this zero, because this is equal to y in the y direction, it's going to be the sum of the forces. So it's going to be force of gravity, and then plus the other force of uh, force from the top of the pressure, and minus the force from the bottom. So force for liquid is equal to pressure times area. So what we need to do is put in our area for this. Uh, the area is going to be equal on the top and the bottom. So this is going to be equal to, uh, and then we can expand this. So we know force of gravity is mass times gravity, plus, so it's going to be, uh, pressure top minus pressure bottom and then all of that multiplied by the area so we're trying to solve for mass here so we can go over here basically just subtract this from the other side so this is going to be negative pressure top minus pressure bottom times the area divided by gravity is equal to mass and our numbers in this case would be um, pressure top which is one two four minus uh, 931, all of that minus, divided by 9.81, uh, 
uh, and then our area is, um, so we know that the top of the block is 10 centimeters, right? So, you know, kind of imagine a block like this. Uh, if it's 10, 10 by 10 centimeters, that's gonna be 0 0.1 times 0 0.1. Um, so that's gonna be 0 0.01. This is 0 0.01. Plug all that into your calculator. I will do that right now. Um, you're gonna get and then that gives you that mass is equal to zero point two or eight two three uh, kilograms. So there's mass. Nice. And then so yeah, that's how you find mass. Uh, and then part. Uh, D is asking us for the density, which is the easiest part. I'll isolate this. Where's my green? There it is. Okay, um, I'll erase this. I don't need this anymore. Okay, so uh, density is equal to mass over volume. Okay, so density is what we're trying to find. We know it's mass, 0 0.823, and then volume. That's gonna be equal to side length cubed, so 0 0.1 to the third. Um, so we do this, uh, times, divided by 0 0.1 cubed, and you get density is 823. Uh, this is, what is density in? It's the kilograms per meter cubed. Okay, and there you go, that's how you find density. So that's how you solve this problem. Um, it's gonna get harder from here, I know that, but basically if you can get down to the fundamentals, uh, everything in the future will be a lot easier. So just try to learn how to make the first body diagrams, we haven't done that in a while, but it's good. All right, so good luck on your physics homework, guys.